Hey, what is happening guys? What's going on YouTube? You have tuned into Rules for Rebels and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what I think is a fantastic example of a well done Shopify store. Um, I'd stumbled upon the Shopify store a while back and I was meaning to, you know, we do a lot of Shopify critique videos where we look at uh, people's new Shopify stores and a lot of times um, they're not put together that well. They're, they're built on very basic themes. Uh, people don't do a very good job of branding, of laying out the page. Um, you know, poor uh, about us pages, no contact information. So I wanted to show an example of what I thought was a really, really well done Shopify store, both in terms of the design of the store, the design of the products, you know, having a good FAQ section, having an about us section, uh, having a currency converter, you know, all the things that, that make a good Shopify store. Um, but today's video is also going to be kind of twofold, and, and I've never seen anybody do this before, and I, I thought it was really clever. Now, uh, this company, Uper Shirts, they, uh, they are, you know, they're not just print-on-demand sellers. They actually have a screen printing shop. They're professional graphic designers. But what's really kind of neat is they actually are selling their graphic design services and their screen printing services right through their Shopify store. And what I thought was really, really smart about this, a lot of you guys out there are great designers. And yeah, you're selling your t-shirt designs and maybe maybe some of you guys are also freelancing on the side doing designs for other people. Well, what if you could combine both those businesses into one, right? You combine your, your t-shirt sales and, and actually selling the merchandise that you make um, but also you kind of use that as a portfolio to, to get design work. And that's what I thought was so genius about this is, you know, I, I already said, I think this is a well done Shopify store. So if I were looking to hire a graphic designer, if I were looking to get some screen printing done, heck, even if I were looking for somebody to help me with some digital marketing and my branding, um, I, I can see, you know, I, I'm not just finding a, a branding or a graphic design company or person and saying, OK, I'm going to use these guys just based on a portfolio. Like I'm actually seeing work that they've done. I'm actually seeing what they did. And that's what I think is so so kind of genius about this. So, um, you know, if we go over here to graphic design, I think they got that parallax scrolling. Uh, des design is the secret to great business. We're not just an apparel company. Uh, we're your creative team. So they do advertising campaigns. They do art direction, brand identity, brand guidelines, environmental graphics, identity collateral, illustration, logo development, marketing, communications, print design, social media graphics, social media strategy. So if, if you can look right at their site. You know, they're not just saying, take my word for it. I'm a good designer. I'm good at branding. Like we can actually see the work that they've done. Cody Coffee. Uh, here's a logo that they created for Cody Coffee. Here, you know, they created the uh, the vinyl stickers for the side of their uh, mobile coffee. They're they're selling mugs. Um, we can also see the the actual work that they did, right? We can see kind of their branding. We can see their logo, their homepage. Um, so I guess uh, first let let's kind of talk about uh, talk about this website a little bit first, right? Let's see if we can get back to uh, oops back to the home page so uh right off the bat they don't just have youper shirts and words they actually have a logo um nothing wrong with canva logos you know if you don't have a huge budget to start i think canva logos are are, are great uh but you can here see you know they, they have a well-designed logo um they're not using a basic theme right this isn't this isn't the brooklyn theme this isn't the debut theme uh here's an interesting thing so i was uh responding to youtube comments this morning and mark Jobs said uh, and this was in response to the uh shopify store review we did for um lakefront jewelry and uh what mark had said mark said to tell the truth i can't stand any of those free themes it took me about a week from re reading theme reviews and testing a few out, but I decided on the Portland theme by Out of the Sandbox. Yes, it's expensive at three fifty, dollars but this will be a business, not just a hobby. Also, I'm doing a one-product store totally focused on what the customer wants. So um, if we go over to... Uh, here is out of the box and here is that uh, turbo theme now a lot of the themes on the Shopify platform You know Shopify has some decent uh, paid themes. Those are normally about 180 So this is a little bit more expensive But the amount of, of customization the professionalism of your store is just gonna look a lot better and, and this is kind of what we've been been kind of talking about right like a lot of times I say, you know I feel like a lot of the drop shippers and a lot of kind of the half-ass stores, a lot of the newbies are kind of giving Shopify themes a bad name. I, I feel like, you know, those people running professional shops using a Brooklyn theme in the back of somebody's head is going to be kind of, they're going to be kind of tie your store in with, with maybe a, a low quality drop ship store that they've ordered from in the past. So uh, this is a particular turbo theme uh, that I forget what was his name. Um, that Mark Job had mentioned. Uh, these guys have, you know, all, all types of different themes. Um, if you guys want, I'll link to the Portland theme. I didn't see they had a Chicago. Here's the Chicago theme. 
I, I'm not really sure what theme. Um, I know this is powered by Shopify. Uh, here, here's something interesting as well. You know, whenever I see people doing store critiques, like the one thing people always harp on is, oh my gosh, you have to remove powered by Shopify from the bottom as if that makes you look super unprofessional. You know, I think this is a fantastically done site. They didn't bother saying powered by Shopify. Who really cares if your site says, you know, people get really hung up on it. Who really cares if if your site says powered by Shopify? You know, WordPress sites are powered by WordPress. Blogger sites are powered by Blogger. If, if the site's well done, I don't think it really matters um, who's putting it together. You know, maybe in the past, Shopify had a reputation of being for beginners, uh, but a lot of big major companies are, are using Shopify these days. Um, we can see with this theme, you know, we have much more advanced drop downs. You know, with, with the basic Shopify store, you just got a couple of, of header navigation drop, you know, header navigation pieces at the bottom. You know, here we're able to have these really, really kind of detailed uh, drop downs. Um, you know, like the logo, these guys took their own product photography. Um, and, and I really like what they did here, how, you know, there is a setting, we can see there's a coffee shop in the background, but the, you know, they're, they're doing their photography in a way that kind of blurs the background. So the focus is actually the item, you know, we can tell this guy's out in nature, uh, but the focus is really on, on him and his hat. You know, we can tell, uh, I guess that's just a product photography. We can tell that this girl is in some outdoor nature scene, but the focus, you know, that literally the focus is on her hat and her apparel. Um, so I think they have nice banners. They have high resolution images. You can see these are crisp. They're not blurry or anything like that. Um, they have a staff pick of the week. So this is a product that they're trying to highlight. Uh, 906, they've actually kind of created their own line and they actually trademarked this. So they have 906 trademark. This is kind of their, um, you know, their signature line, I guess you could say. Uh, they're doing water bottles. They got fleeces. Uh, you know, they're doing hats, but not just a plain, boring, you know, snapback hat. They have the the plaid hat, which kind of goes with the whole outdoor Upper Peninsula thing. Uh, they got flannels. Uh, they're doing mugs. Uh, let's see, living the northern life. Uh, view new products. Uh, they're featuring their Instagram stuff, so they're able to highlight their actual retail store. They're able to highlight you know, pictures that, you know, we talk a lot about brand brand image and, you know, simply slapping a kayak on your shirt and saying you're an outdoor brand or you're an outfitter brand um, it isn't really going to do it. Like everything that they're doing here is coming together to kind of give this brand image of, you know, outdoorsmen, you know, up north, upper peninsula, uh, custom apparel. And, and here's where we talked about, oh, I hadn't even seen they have a video. Let's see what this is. I don't know if you guys will be able to uh, to hear this. Um, okay, so it looks like they might actually be selling Shopify themes as well. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear the volume. I didn't plug in my headphones and I didn't set it up to record computer audio, um, but that's interesting. Uh, we're not just an apparel company and here's kind of the services that they offer. They got a contact us thing down there. Um, you know, a lot of stores we were looking at recently, I think when we looked at the uh, Lakefront Jewelry, they only had a Facebook account. You know, these guys are on every social media platform. Um, Marquette, Michigan, man, if you guys haven't been there, really, really cool town. It's a college town. Uh, it, it's, you know, kind of out in the outdoors, great for nature lovers and stuff. But they got a lot of craft breweries, good restaurants. It's kind of a little kind of like hippie town, almost kind of like a little mini, mini Ann Arbor. Um, let's see. So we got graphic design, screen printing. They can help you set up a custom store, uh, artwork requirements, color chart. Uh, they do embroidery. Uh, let's see. What is your exchange policy? All sales are final. No refunds. Do you have a restock item? What forms of payment? How secure is the store? Do I need a PayPal account? Let's see. Is there any way I can promote you per shirt? Spread the word about you per shirts to your friends, family, and colleagues. Here's the links. Uh, so you'd think they'd maybe offer a, an affiliate program to help people drive, but they're just kind of, you know, if you like what we're doing and you want to want to support us, you know, feel free to share washing instructions, sizing charts. Um, you know, I think that's kind of really smart. Let's see their About Us page. Uh, Youper Shirts is, uh, I wish they would have included more photos, but let's see what they have to say here. Youper Shirts, Inc. is a UP, Upper Michigan clothing brand specializing in graphic design, embroidery, and printing services located in Marquette, Michigan. We are passionate about creating modern designs inspired by the Upper Peninsula and the entire state of Michigan. We strive to dress Youpers and Michiganders around the world with unique quality products. So, you know, if we were to go look at Lakefront Jewelry, what did they say? We're we're a jewelry brand. Support us. It was started by Heather, Melissa, and, and Jennifer. Um, you know, here, they're passionate about, about their region of the country. They're passionate about where they live. And other people who either live in Michigan, live in the Upper Peninsula, or even people who vacation there, you know, it's kind of an identity. It's kind of a community. So they're, they're kind of tying into that. Uh, graphic design, we specialize in apparel, design, logos, business cards, marketing, package design, screen printing, and embroidery. 
contact us. Uh, the term Uper Shirts is a, so they, they actually have a registered trademark. So they're actually protecting uh, their brand. Uh, let's see, I created, okay, and here's kind of the founder story. I created Uper Shirts in December of 2009 online at upershirts.com. With successful designs such as the Supernatural, Uper Icon, and UP Heart, I was able to grow the YS brand and offer more designs in a variety of colors. After a year and a half online, I decided to take the business and open my first retail location in West Ipshalem. After three months, I then moved the business closer to Ipshalem, where we shared a space with Ipshalem Nagani Chamber of Commerce on Highway 41. So it's kind of telling you how they started. And think about this. This is kind of inspiration to us. You know, any of you guys who are starting an online t-shirt brand, you know, maybe you could grow it into an actual retail store and into a kind of a boutique uh, design and advertising firm. You know, the, the possibilities are endless. Uh, in November 2011, I purchased screen printing equipment so we could have the capability of printing the entire YS brand in-house. I hired my first employee and continued to build the brand while offering custom graphic design, screen printing, and embroidery services to the public. And what I think is kind of smart, smart about that, you know, it can take a while to, to build a brand, to build a brand identity. Um, so he's not just relying on t-shirt sales to make his income. People can actually see the work that he's doing. And if they appreciate the quality of his designs, they can actually hire him. Uh, we now have seven full-time employees to keep up with the workload uh, with the hopes of continued growth. September 6, 2013 marked the ribbon cutting ceremony and the grand opening of a new retail and production space located in downtown uh, Ishpeming. Uh, we spent countless hours renovating what was previously the AMCAB space in an old Grossard Pioneer Square building. From refinished wood floors to large exposed brick wall, our new shop had a high-end feel in a small town environment. After many years of success at the Gossard, an opportunity to purchase a new location came about. On February 10th, 2017, we purchased our new and only retail location on 3rd Street in downtown Marquette, which is actually a great location. Uh, we spent the next four months remodeling the space to give it the exact look and vibe that was needed for a pleasant, inspiring shopping experience. Now, I know a lot of us don't have retail stores, uh, but if you look at, at pictures of their actual store, you'll notice that the store kind of continues the vibe of this um, kind of sophisticated slash small town slash kind of outdoorsy kind of vibe. Um, let's see, on May 20, 26, 2017, we opened the doors to a third location and converted our Ishpeling retail location into our production facility and continued our growth. It was a hard decision to close the Ishpeling retail, but we continue to expand and need more space for printing behind the scenes. Uh, our main retail location is now located at 503 North in downtown Marquette, where we are strategically located in the heart of the city. Uh, on December 14th, 2018, we purchased a new 6,000 square foot building, uh, old Upco building in Ishpeling, and our new production facility. We will no longer be renting from Gossard and Plan. The passion for this company continues to burn. I push to make it grow efficiently and effectively each day. Not only do I love what I do, I'm fortunate enough to create designs and clothing that youpers and others all over the world can enjoy. I love that I can give back to my hometown of Ishpeling and offer jobs to friends and family. I thank you for taking the time to visit our website and look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, Jeremy Simmons, owner and designer. And let's see. Uh, okay, that's awesome. You know, young guys got a, got kind of a, a uh, you know, the, the, this business that kind of started out as something very small and it has grown into something very, very cool. So um, I'm going to have to follow this guy on Instagram. I may try to reach out to him, see if he might be uh, might be interested in. Oh, wow. He's been in a breakfast club. Um, yeah, talented dude. I'll, I'll have to see if I can get him uh, on the channel. Let, let's take a take a look around a little bit more at his shop here. You know, T-shirts. So this is a lot of their uh, 906 line. They got a lot of images and things like this. It's going to take a second to uh, to load. Drink local. I'm curious. Let's take a look at uh, at one of their product pages. Okay, so they're not doing like a big, huge, long write-up, um, but, you know, they do have, um, I'm surprised I don't have a sizing chart in here, although I guess they got it on the main page. Um, you know, they do have what the materials are, um, 32 singles for extreme soft, list, slightly heathered, 906 of the alpha designs. Um, so I, I would almost expect them to have maybe a little bit more of a backstory on each product page for, for SEO and stuff, but I mean, overall, I think it still looks, looks fantastic. Uh, let's look at some of their other stuff here bags let's see what kind of bags they got i 
you know, so they do got some of the tote bags that you and I can sell with Printful, but they also have a little bit more kind of custom stuff here. Uh, looks like they're trying to kind of replicate a little bit of that kind of Louis Vuitton uh, kind of design. Youper bags. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's see what else they got. Um, beanies. I'm guessing just just based on I'm guessing these might be like public domain images that they took. Uh, it looks like these come from the Michigan DNR Department of, of Natural Resources. Uh, there's a lot of like old vintage um, uh, like like hunting license stickers and stamps and things like that that would actually make some really cool T-shirts. So I think that's kind of what they're going for. Uh, they got the 906 line here, and I'm not sure what this is, a Northware company. That That's probably either a, a line that they work on or, or a sister company of theirs. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, not all of us have a big production facility to make sure it's not all of us, uh, you know, have, have a print shop. Uh, but overall, you know, th this might be something that you want to grow your print on demand into someday. You know, it could be a goal for you. Um, and just in terms of the Shopify theme, I think it's really, really well done. I think the site's well done. Um, I think the branding is fantastic. Anybody who, who's thinking about slapping, you know, a, a picture of a, a, you know, a dumbbell on a shirt, and say in beast mode and saying you have a brand, you know, take a look at what these guys are doing and kind of everything that goes into kind of creating a brand image, a lifestyle image, um, and kind of what the brand, uh, I guess, encompasses. So uh, that's what I got for you today. I hope, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out this uh, the Shopify store in more detail, uh, it is upershirts.com. Um, and again, I'll link to, to kind of two interesting themes. I'll link to the up, uh, the Portland theme that Tom had mentioned uh, in a YouTube comment. And I'll also link to an interesting theme called the conversion theme that allows you to do a lot of similar things with having more detailed uh, drop downs, call to action buttons, currency converters, kind of all built into the native theme. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button down below. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Later.